but only the uh, roommate has COVID. Hey. Who has COVID? Your roommate? Is that what you said? No, we were just talking about it. Oh, okay. Well, now I don't care anymore. Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard. The Cacophony <laughs> Saga continues. This is not a campaign, Carol, because there is no definitive goal. This is more of a sandbox kind of thing. Uh, if you're Thanks. watching us for the first time, thank you. Uh, if you're returning, thank you. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy cool stuff like a cacophony shirt or some kind of dumbass phone case, check out bath our store. Mat. We what bath mat, shower curtain, duvet cover, tons of shit there. Skittles uh, bikini. No Skittles bikini. You haven't designed it yet. You were supposed to wear that tonight and fail. We'll and boost lose. our viewership. That's Wait, right. oh, it's gonna zero be viewers. So you know how like M and M's, you can get a custom logo on your M and M's. I tried. Well, it's that. gotta be custom logo shit. Skittles. So there'll be little ones that say like M Hobo Wing or something on it, or your face. My face? No, my face does not sell shit. Uh, <laughs> Neither does uh, mine. Yeah, so. That's why we have an audio podcast at tinyurl.com. M Hobo Inc. Audio, so you don't have to look at me. You can just listen to my. Melodious charms. Yeah, but then uh, they, what? They don't get to look at Caitlin then. So what? I'm the, I'm the money here. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, thanks to Pirate Dog Dice for dice that may or may not kill the party tonight, as well as oddfishgames.com. If your game stinks, try some Adventure Sense. I ordered a shitload of it tonight uh, to get to my players, finally. A whole bunch <laughs> of different scents. Uh, it'll be marvelous. No putrid sewers this time. Kyle's the only one I hate enough to go ahead and get that, too. Oh. <laughs> and uh, don't forget about their shine system. Uh, if you want to learn how to do writing, try their system as well. Uh, this Sunday, 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 uh, is uh, how to RPG with your cat. So take a look at their website, oddfishgames.com. Uh, sign up. Sign up is free. Uh, playing is free. You just got to sign up. So check that out. This is the Cacophony episode. These guys are traveling across the frontier of Telosia to find the haunted tower of the Kurds so that the current wannabe ruler can ascend to her throne. We will get to the details a little bit more. Uh, first, let's start off with, uh, we'll go in reverse order this time. Carrie, normally behind the uh, computer tonight behind and in front. Carrie, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. So I am playing Camille, a wizard necromancer, and she is currently very upset that there is no coffee around and no cheese. Yes, I yeah. did. No cheese. No cheese. There was goat cheese. There was goat cheese, remember? <laughs> yeah, but that yeah. Was, that's was that been a long time ago, <laughs> and I, I tend days. to gorge on it. It's it was gone. Good thing. Good thing halflings are lactose tolerant. I mean. <laughs> Next up is David. David, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Hi, I'm David. And I play Zadar, the arcane trickster changeling. So, uh, yeah, currently I'm still in female form. So, <laughs> see how that goes. Uh, you are Jessica Rabbit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but I'm thinking about maybe changing her a little bit to kind of take on a Talosian appearance. Mm. So Jessica okay. Rabbit, but just Talosian. So how about uh, who was it? Tonto's girlfriend in the original Lone Ranger. I don't remember her name. I don't know what it was. Yeah, yeah. So last but certainly not least, not wearing her Skittles bikini. Uh, <laughs> Caitlin, who are you? Who are you playing? All right, I'm going to buy a few bags of Skittles. And next time, or on Twitter, I will make maybe only fans to see how scandalous it is. It's gonna be only Skittles fans. Bikini. It's gonna be scandalous. <laughs> We're gonna get kicked off of Twitch. <laughs> There's only one way to make the Skittles stick together, dear, and that's by licking them. Who are you playing? I am playing Daphne, the Paladin Tiefling, who is currently wearing a fur bikini on top of that's my it. clothes. 
So I may have to step away and try to find a bikini to put on. I think that may be what I need to do tonight. Boy, I got she's the really trying to get our viewership up tonight. <laughs> but you're wearing well, a male G-string. on top G-string. of my clothes, you know, like what Daphne is. Yeah, she's yes. fitting the image. Right. Uh, yeah, and don't forget you have the male stinky god piece. Yeah, uh, remember that. Yeah, you know, the marble sack. And so. they are not manscapers. Uh, so. uh, There's a lot of Abe Lincoln going on there. Folks, this is the Cacophony soap opera. These guys were hired to go to the Tower of the Curd, the haunted Tower of the Curd, uh, to rid it of its evil so that Hepta, the seductress, uh, can take her rightful place at the top of Telosian government. Uh, she is currently the head of her clan, seeking uh, to make it just a little bit more and take over the entire landscape. Uh, last week, these guys met a sage whose parents fled the area of Emu, which is the home of the Tower of the Curd. And they picked up a little bit of, uh, shall we say, questionable intel in that the sage wasn't completely sold that Hempta was the rightful heir. Uh, Talana, the leader of the Talosian group with the party, uh, kind of brushed that under the rug. Uh, these guys were being helped by Talana and three other Talosians until, sadly, misfortune struck and mm. Kellar, uh, the responsibility of Zadar bit it <laughs> uh so they are down one talosian uh they are headed into emu from wolf lake and we'll go ahead and show you what that looks like here as you can see they are down here at wolf lake where last time a magical chevron was embedded into the body of camille nobody knows what it does they just know it's magical they are headed into the land of Emu, the destroyed lands, uh, to find the Tower of the Curd. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Any questions from last week, guys? Yeah, I still feel bad about the Kellar thing. That was a roll of the dice thing, Frank. That wasn't Zadar's responsibility. We both got knocked on our asses. The dice giveth <laughs> and the dice taketh away. He was your partner in crime, and now he is dead. He's dead, yeah. I, I will not say more. Those are the facts, and they are not in dispute. I avenged his death, though. So. <laughs> sure, whatever. I hope you can tell that to his family. Uh, he had no any, family. Any other questions? He uh, had a small child it. who now weeps for him every night. <laughs> Thanks, Zadar, you dick. <laughs> Don't forget, folks, uh, we are from mature audiences, even though we are a little bit less than mature at times. Uh, any other questions before you take the uh, mad four-day dash to Emu across the tundra? Tundra? Oh. Yeah. Hi, grasslands. Okay. No, I was just thinking, because, yeah, tundra can get, yeah. All right. Uh, folks, these guys have uh, encountered uh, red bison, uh, seen deer, seen caribou, seen elk, uh, seen men dressed as wolves, uh, mm -hmm. and seen an evil spirit mm -hmm. that for some reason couldn't beat the shit out of them. Uh, <laughs> this is more like the American West for landscape. Creeks and small rivers adorn the vast plains where these red bison thunder across the land. You guys are ready to head out on day one. Uh, Camille, we'll start with you. Give me a D, D6, please. Five. Fair enough. Day one, uh, Zadar, give me a D4. A D4. And that is a three. Fair enough. Uh, high noon, you guys need to eat your jerky to stay fresh. You guys have two ponies now that are used as pack animals, lightening the load on your previous one pack animal. The other horse or pony belongs to the aforementioned dead keller thank you zadar uh about noon you see birds or everybody give me a perception check first 
Perception. Twelve. Nice. Uh, thirteen. None of you see jack shit. That's awesome. As you eat, uh, Juju, one of the Telosians, points out a circle of vultures ahead. Wait, we're eating Juju? Juju is uh, one of the Telosians. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, uh, do you care to investigate? Uh, vul he says vultures? Yes. Mm -hmm. I would imagine. I mean, it's up to you, Camille. <laughs> mm, we might as well. Daphne? Sorry. I made sure I was spelling cacophony correctly on my... C-A-C-O-P-H. Okay, I spelled it C-A-C. <laughs> At first, but then I double-checked and there's an O. I was like, all right. For Sorry. O for outrageous. Uh, do you want to go investigate the vultures? Yeah, of course. Uh, everybody finishes their jerky and you head out. Uh, do you want to head out in a straight line or fan out in a horizontal line across these planes? I'm uh, feeling chaotic, so a zigzag line for me. One up, one down. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Uh, She's just guys, meandering from side to side. Do you guys want to be the up or do you guys want to be the back? Uh, we'll be the back. Let her zigzag up front. <laughs> Uh, as you guys head up, Talana does the standard military halt sign, uh, and says, uh, uh, Nosa, uh, the other two Talosians confirm Nosa, the vultures have flown off. Uh, mm. they are circling high in the sky, waiting for you guys to leave. Mm. Do you want to go up and see what this Nosa thing is? Uh, Sure. Everybody give me an Arcana check. Normally, I would be pretty good at that. 19. <laughs> Seven. Seven, 17. Uh, the Tiefling and Zadar uh, have never experienced what this thing is, but you recognize it from your learning. Camille, you have no idea what it is. It looks like a panther with long tentacles. This uh, item is a displacer beast, and it appears to have been a food source for the giant vultures. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, oh, I was hoping it was dead. <laughs> it is. 20. Oh, I love my echo. <laughs> I was like, that is not mine. My stuff is needed. Uh, that is 14 for Zadar. Uh, Camille, you hear a noise to your left, and as you look over, you see another Nosa coming forth. Uh, <sighs> its tentacles wave and cause a disconcerting view of this panther looking to eat you and Juju. Okay, I have to stop. I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> I mean, out of game. Right. Oh, is it's, it... a, it's a panther with tentacles that come out of it? Uh, one of the things that it does, it causes like this, uh, uh, like blur, or they just uh, cast duplicates of themselves or something like that. Do they try to I, eat you? Yeah, they're oh. predators. Okay. Okay, so I'm the only one that sees this? No, you're the one with the 20. You get to go. Oh, okay. Um, where is it in relation to us? It's about 20 feet away, and it's uh, coming at you like a cat, because it's a big cat. Player advice, don't <coughs> hold back. <laughs> I was going to say, I cast Thunder Wave. Sure. Um, must make a constitution saving throw. 16 plus 3, 19, I believe I have made that throw. Okay. Um, the DM's rolling hot. Uh, That's not a good sign. Successful <laughs> save, half as much damage. 2d8. Apparently, I just need someone to secretly send me a green screen. What? I just need a green screen. Look at the money I was on. They're not that expensive, right? No, not at all. Hmm. Or, you, or you can go to like a Hobby Lobby and get yourself three uh, cubic or three square feet of. Kelly Green. So, Badger. four. No, four. 
Eight. Takes eight damage. Eight total. Next up is the uh, 14, Zadar. Uh, Zadar, odd even. Uh, even. Odd. You uh, see the same one that Camille does. Okay. I'm assuming that's the real one, so I'm going to bonus action hex it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, <coughs> um, ah, it's going to have to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 14 plus 317. I'm taking your dice away. Uh, f- ah, yeah, mine you. was ah. 15. Oh, well. Uh, I think it, no, no. No, it doesn't take any failed damage. Damn it. <laughs> Last but not least, Daphne. There is one to your right. There are two. Fuck. There's white? Two of them. Okay. They are mourning the loss of their brethren who was being eaten by vultures. Well, perhaps they should have been around for his benefit. They were off having sexual liaisons, probably. Well, maybe they should have had a three-way. Huh? There you go. That's the producer for you. <laughs> oh, there it is, folks. <laughs> Break that glass ceiling. You Come on, Tiefling. I'm talking about in your ear. That's right. Uh, well, no one's actually attacked the. No, no, you're the only one that notices this one at this time. Complete chaos. Find a seed. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I. It's a weird attack. If you don't act soon, it's going to attack. <laughs> yep. I will take my spot. All right. I'm just going to cast Bless on all of us. Okay. That's what? Plus two? Uh, we can make a d4 on our attack and saving. Very good. Uh, displacer beast time. Let's see. Odd even. Even. So one attack on Camille, one attack on Zadar. We have not attacked it. How dare we? They're predators. <laughs> uh, four for Camille, 14 for Zadar. Add six, dirty 20. Uh, I'm going to use Murder Hobo Dice, boys and girls. Boom! Five plus four. Nine damage to Zadar. Uh, oh, uh, can Daphne? I take the uncanny dodge and half it? Is that a bonus action? Uh, it's a reaction. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Daphne, there's nobody around you, so you're going to take both shots. 13 plus 4 and 2, or I'm sorry, 13 plus 6 and 2 plus 6. Uh, I'm guessing 19 hits you. Me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take uh, 3 plus 4, 7. The Telosians rush forward. 7 two. damage? Yep. Two. All right, well, I'm going to do my hellish rebuke. Yep, go ahead. Hurry. So you just have to make the deck saving throw. At 20. <laughs> Hot tonight, boys and girls. I think I take half your hellish review. You would take. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So half of it is half of 15. So what is that? Round half. down seven. Ah, uh, Talana and Juju head left. Mooka Mike heads right. Or you know what? Talana's going to go odd even. Odd. Mooka Mike. Odd. Uh, or I'm sorry, Juju. Mooka Mike is going to protect Daphne because that is who he is designed to help. Uh, the Talosians on the left. Six and 16. One of them will hit. Ooh, holy shit. Big dick damage, boys and girls. Uh, Mooka Mike leaps in front of Daphne. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. 
Book of Mike does a modicum of damage. Round two, Camille, you're up. Uh, 13 to hit the displacer beast. Okay, I missed. Zadar, you're up. Okay, I didn't call it last time, but it's my bad. With Hex, I got to call the ability that it's Hex at. It's Constitution. Okay. And I'm going to cast uh, Frost Fingers, so it's going to need to make a Constitution saving throw. 15 your DC. Uh, what's the Hex do? Uh, the Hex puts you at disadvantage for con, con right. saves. <clears throat> Fail. Okay, you are going to take... I actually failed both of those rolls. It's about time. <laughs> uh, seven points of uh, frost damage and uh, 1d6 of necrotic, which is a four. So seven and four. Okay. And every time anybody hits it from now on, it takes six necrotic extra. Uh, Daphne, you're up. You and Mooka Mike stand alone together. <sighs> He's got your back. Yeah. Jack. So. Unlike Zadar. <clears throat> I use my channel of divinity to get my plus two one attack roll. Rolls. Jesus Christ. If I could talk one day. So, a 22 and a 26 to hit. Both hit. Oh, it sounds like a toilet, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> 11 damage total. Ouch. Two. Nicely done. Uh, Displacer Beast, uh, 1d4 on the left. Uh, that's two Zadar and a two, Zid two Zidar, uh, Okay. does not care for you. Over on the right, odd even. Uh, even my Mooka Mike. Even Mooka Mike. So slim pickings here on Zadar. Okay. I'm going to react to it if I can. Uh, two to 17, so 23. Is okay. A hit. Uh, Murder Hobo Link. Nice. Okay. Boo. Gonna... Five. Okay. Uh, uh, Luke Mike. Uh, 13s, 19s. Luke Mike's going to take some pain. Not really. Uh, 15 damage to Mooka Mike. Ouch. Uh, I'll go with Mooka Mike. Uh, Mook Mike hits. Whew. Crap. Uh, Talana and Juju. Uh, Talana hits, Juju misses. Eight and a D6 for the product. Six. Boom. 14 points. Uh, ooh, now you're talking. Uh, top of round three, Camille. Fuck. Four. A uh, little bit off. Uh, <laughs> up. Okay. I'm going to. Just a bit outside. Yeah, I'm going to scimitar attack. Uh, let's see. Uh, 21 to hit. Um. Let's see. For the scimitar damage, it's going to take uh, uh, eight points of damage. Uh, I'm going to make the offhand attack with the dagger. I'm going to roll the da damage for all of it right after. Uh, let's see. Uh, the offhand is a 20 to hit. Okay. Now this is where the damage gets tricky. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Right out. Uh, okay, Green Flame Blade uh, is going to be additional three points of damage. Uh, its uh, partner is going to take 
because uh, I can cast Green Flame on, on its uh, on its partner. It's going to take a, a D8. Is that a cantrip or a spell? It's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Okay. Uh, it's just only going to take two points of damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, the one that hit uh, that I hit with the dagger is going to take a total of uh, seven points of flame damage from the the flame weaver. And sorry, I <laughs> need to be rolling all this dice, but that's how. And one point necrotic damage. So enough. Uh, Daphne, you're up. How dead are they looking? <laughs> <laughs> These they things really are really healthy. They're healthy. <laughs> this is big cat love. Mm hmm. If I do divine favor, is that using my attack or do I get to use that in an attack? The spell? Mm -hmm. That is your attack. So I just cast it, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna cast divine favor. What's that do? Weapon, so I get an extra 1d4 radiate damage. I'm just level? putting on all the things. What level spell is it? One. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, that works. Specific spell, obviously. I don't know. Clearly. <laughs> What's it called? Divine Favor. Your prayer empowers you with divine radiance. Until the spell ends, your weapon attack deals an extra 1d4 radiant damage on a hit. Okay. So it's like Hex. So you gotta send. You gotta put it out before you hit. Gotcha. Uh, on uh, on the left, there's still four, uh, four, Juju, and three Talana. Odd uh, even on Luca. Uh, this time it's gonna go after Daphne. So <clears throat> on Talana. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, that hits. Uh, and that hits. So both of them suffer. Six and six. Juju and Luca. Uh, Daphne. Uh, 13. And I forgot to roll the other one. 13 plus six is 19. Uh, and the second one's coming after you as well. Uh, that one's going to be a miss. Uh, first one, seven damage to Daphne. Round four. Camille, start it off. Mm, Sixteen. Hit. Um, so are the two opposite? Yes, they're this way. I cast web on mine. Fair enough. Uh, what's the strength say? Never mind. That is a nap one. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that one. Uh, uh, Camille successfully casts web. Uh, unfortunately, your associates are in close proximity. Zidar, uh. Lana, <laughs> Juju, roll saves. They're fine. 17 and 14. 10. Zadar is stuck in the web. Uh, Zadar, see if you can break free or cut loose. If you cut loose, you may risk releasing the Kraken. Oh, okay. So how do I break free? Just uh, try to strength? Okay. You can do it. <laughs> With my strength? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 19. Yep, you break free. Okay. Uh, Daphne, you're up. All right. Oh, 
all the noises. <laughs> you need a probiotic. <laughs> it's just because I'm too lazy to take my own dice out. I'm going to make you my little pony dice. All right, I'm fine with that. So, 17 and... Yeah, fourteen. Both hit. All right. And don't forget, you have the additional damage from the spell, and since both hit, you'll get two d six necrotic. Oh no, that yours isn't hex. Never mind. You will not get the necrotic. No, I think. <clears throat> it's twenty two damage. Yikes. Now that I know Paladin is, don't forget, you got to toss all the spells out. <laughs> yeah, you got to toss. It's like mage armor. You got to send that right out to shoot. Uh, the Displacer Beast will attempt to break free from the web. Not with a six. Uh, the other one will get to attack. That's an even. That's an odd one for you and one for Mooka Mike. You, 15 does not hit you, correct? Me? No. Yeah. Uh, 17 will hit Mooka Mike. Oh, baby. Mooka Mike is down. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mooka Mike death save. Mooka Mike saves one. Uh, at advantage, Talana. Uh, the 14 saves her. And Juju. Uh, the 12 gets them. So they both hit the proned out displacer beast. Uh, not good. Round five, Camille. Twelve. Uh, you can roll your D4 for the bonus the Paladin gave you. All you need is one, so unless you roll a zero somehow, you'll be able to hit this thing. Two. Yep, you hit him. I said. <laughs> Anything else? Damage. Uh, oh. Uh... <laughs> and, you get, and you get to roll a d6. This one is still hexed. Oh. Mm. Now, Zadar, did you have to roll concentration on the hex? Uh, I don't think so. Let me let me verify that. Four. It is. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> concentration roll. for an hour. Roll a concentration for the web, okay, not yeah. the previous hit. Is, that's a constitution save uh, for uh, concentration? It's just 10, 10 or above, I think. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, 10. <laughs> okay, uh, Camille, your damage, and then roll a d6 for the necrotic damage from the hex. So... It uh, what am I rolling for damage? I think you rolled four, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just got the greatest taste ever. I'm so excited. Don't Congratulations. <laughs> it's about Comic-Con. I'm fucking pumped, man. My friend does, like, shoots and filming for it, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yo, if you know anyone, he's like, oh, I actually do stuff for them. Fucking dead. Get, go get your COVID shot first. Yeah. Uh, so, so what do I roll next? What What was your damage for? Four. And I roll a d6 for the necrotic. Six. Ooh. Uh, fair enough. Zadar, you've broken free from the other side. Go ahead. Okay, I am going to attack again. Uh, scimitar attack. Uh, let's see. It uh, it it's broken free from its web, right? Or is that ship's gone sailed? Uh, yeah. Okay. Webs are flammable. Will it take extra flame damage? <laughs> uh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry, but you're right. Webs are flammable. Yeah. All right. 
All right, scimitar attack. <clears throat> Not with a natural one. <laughs> uh, roll D4. No. Camille's one. You're two. Come on. Talata is three. Juju is four. Who's one? Camille. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I DM's a dick. Wow. <laughs> I didn't roll that die. If I would have rolled that die, it would have been a two. Uh-huh. <laughs> nah. All right. All right. I'm still going to make the offhand attack. Oh, I... How much damage did you do to her? Oh, uh, yeah. That's, um, yeah. We'll do it straight damage. Three? <laughs> okay. Okay, the next one's gonna be with the flame reaver. Nat twenty, baby. Damage, damage modifier. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right. Uh, Twelve points of damage, plus an additional four, and then. The let's see, four, six, eight points of fire damage that follows that. Oh, and uh, d6, three points from the necrotic. Got it. Uh, Daphne, you're up. So many freaking things to remember to do. I'm really sorry, Camille. It's okay. It was bad. How are they looking? Ooh, I got a nat 20. There you go. Damage, damage, modifier. Okay. And then a 19. That's not even adding in all the extra things. Yep. Okay. So then with that, that's 12 plus 4, 16. Lay down. Come on. Mouth is hard. (laughs) It really is. (laughs) Take your shoes off. It'll be fine. What it pays to be a boy. I feel like it's what I just had. No, seven. Sorry, 21 damage. It shouldn't be that hard. I'm like, seven plus four. Why is this more difficult? Plus 10, right? You'd think. Yeah, 21. You're you're too focused on the Comic Con. (laughs) Uh, Both are still alive. I was like, why are you running double or hitting for double damage? It only came up to be 10 total. I was like, this thing hates me. That's all I was thinking. I couldn't get beyond that. Nice. Uh, Zadar and Talana. Uh, Zadar, that's going to be a miss. Uh, Talana, that's going to be a hit. And over on the other side. Hang on to your ass there, princess. Daphne's going to get chuffed. Uh, I'm an Albert test. That's unusual. Two nat ones. You will have advantage on the attack. Daphne. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Suck it, Frank. Like, <laughs> that, nice give it, nice take it away. That was highly unusual. Uh, over on the left, Talana and Juju. Hey, Hannah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Talana gets the kill. My over, Hannah. Over on the right, Luca. She brought wine. Good for her. I, I did not get any wine. Yeah. We're going to make some MO wine. It will smell like the games. <laughs> uh, round, sewer. <laughs> round six. Camille. Uh, Body's on fire. Yours is dead. Daphne's is alive. Well, I guess I better try to attack hers. Ooh. 22. There you go. Um, D&D seems fine. Hmm. How about... Yeah. 
<sighs> Ray of sickness. Fair enough. Is that a con save for me? Uh, no, I just have to take two, two d8 poison. Or no, you do have to make a constitution saving throw. I failed with a six. Okay. Yeah, you're at disadvantage too. No, I am not. You nope. did not move Hex yet. Oh, oh, this is the new piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll be my next thing. <laughs> yeah. So it is... So did you fail? No. I, I failed. Okay, failed. so nine... Uh, 60 feet, rain attack, 2 v Ooh, and I'm poisoned until my next turn. Got it. Okay. Ouch. Uh, that is actually enough to put it down. So, both Nosa are killed. Uh, everybody perception check. Oh. Ow, not perceptive with the four. Uh, 13. Uh, 26 for Zadar. Zadar, you see individuals approaching. Talana does not. Uh, Juju does. And Muka Mike. Do, oh, Muka Mike Gosh, has to is roll. He, down, he, isn't he? he has yeah. to roll another death save. Ooh. No. <laughs> is he dead? Not yet. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, a healing kit on him to try to try to triage this. <laughs> Give me a medicine check. Okay. Don't kill him like Man Fang did his dad. I hope not. Not with a natural twenty. <laughs> he will be stabilized at zero. Stay in uh, These individuals look like Telosians, only a little bit darker shade and different. Uh, coloring on their arms. It appears as though they are tattooed. Uh, there are four in this party, each armed with spears. Each has a spear leveled at you. Uh, they begin to speak, uh, but you do not understand. Talana raises her hands and begins to click, 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 click. There is a discussion ongoing. Let's see if Talana can convince them. Talana convinces them and they lower their spears. They move forward and there is an argument ensuing about ownership of the initial NOSA. You can have, have at it. it. Have at it. You can have all three of them. <laughs> Daphne, uh, what say you? Is there anything to take off of them? Yeah, Not is really. there anything? No. Pelts. You can always cool, have a cool black displacer pelt. Mm -hmm. That is kind of cool. Then of them have really nice hair. The Talosians are the displacer beast. I mean, I guess we could take one pelt. Mm -hmm. We might be able to trade it later if we need it. Uh, the best pelt you can find is uh, not including the initial Nosa is the one Daphne had because uh, Zadar, Camille, Talana, and Juju kicked the shit out of it with multiple <laughs> attacks. Uh, who wants to try and skin Daphne's? No. Um, <laughs> who, wants to, who wants to try and skin Daphne? No, not Daphne. <laughs> Oh, great. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll try. Uh, you want to try? Go ahead. Animal handling. Oh, do I have that? Probably not. I probably should let Zadar do that. I, I'm not I don't much. think he's got it. I think the only one that maybe has a shot is Daphne. I got a plus two. I got so a plus that one. one. So. <laughs> I don't care. Somebody wants the pelt. I'll, uh, I'll take a shot at it. Okay. Sure. Uh, 14. 16 is your magic number to skin a displacer beast. Uh, you get bits and pieces, so you can make uh, little wrist things. You can make some gaunt, uh, yeah, some bracers. And you can make a sweatband. Maybe leg warmers? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can do leg warmers. Earmuffs, <laughs> horn. 
a, a, a veil <laughs> hanging over your horn. Uh, the other group uh, appears to be members of the Edra clan. Hmm. Uh, Talana goes ahead and notices the peculiar looks on your faces and explains uh, these are warriors from the Edra clan hunting in the neutral zone. Uh, they're like Romulans, apparently. Uh, but the neutral zone is not claimed by any one clan, and it is a happy hunting ground. They report that they were hunting the displacer beasts, and that is why they lay claim to the first Nosa, uh, because they did a massive amount of damage to it and tracked it here. They were unaware that they were uh, part of a three piece ha, ha, ha. that's right a threesome <laughs> they uh, are they are never alone so <laughs> well, and that is the case tonight uh they go ahead and let's see how they skin it they're gonna do much better at 20 uh, yeah they, they've done this before uh and is it male or female that skins it it is a male that skins it uh, the quartet of Edra, is that what it was? Yeah, Edra. Uh, making notes. Young DMs always make notes. Uh, it's important. The quartet of Edra communicates to Talana. Uh, there are three bodies, plenty of meat to go around. They ask if the Outlanders, you guys, will sup with them. Uh, sure. Sure. Yes. Definitely. Daphne? Sure. Okay. Uh, it's, um, new, it's noonish, so. Um, is there something to make a litter out of for Mooka Mike to kind of uh, carry him along with the ponies and all that while he's recovering? Nope. You got to throw him over the pony. Can't we make okay. Daphne heal him or that yeah <laughs> hello tiefling sure. <laughs> how many hit points are you gonna give him back how much yep how much does he need well, oh he, he, he was all he's stable but i mean he can use I have anything to give. he'll take 24 to put him back at full health uh, the I others, uh, Talana are down, Talana's down 12, and Juju's down 6. I'll be, what'd you say? 24, 12, and 6. Well, he needs 24 to be in full health. So, like, 12 would be half. So, why can I just give him, like, 14, which is, like, slightly above half? Sure. Give anybody else anything? So are we gonna take a rest? You can take a yeah, short rest. Yeah, we're gonna have supper with the the Edra. With the Edra. All right. I'll give the rest of them each four. I don't know. That's fine. How much is that total then? Uh Mooka's down ten, Talana's down eight, and Juju is down two. So four. So twelve more. But oh uh, Zadar, Camille, and you are also hurt. Yeah, what are you guys at? I'm good. I'm only down like seven. Yeah, I just need to rest and eat. So, okay. so are we gonna give the last four to myself? Oh, go ahead. Take them for yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, you pig. <laughs> hey, I gave the rest to everyone else. All right. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> uh, You guys will have a short rest, so you can choose how many hit dice you roll to recover. Uh, the Edra will be curious as to, hey, what's going on? How's it going? You know, what's going on in your part of the world? Da-da-da-da-da. Uh, uh, Talana will go ahead and translate, although Talana will be intently interested and seem to be giving a, for lack of a better term, political pitch to the Edra. Because the Edra are in the neutral or the gray area. But how are Remember, we going to know this? You have already been told that the Zimna and the Wella stand in opposition to Hemta. Uh, everybody else is more neutral, including the Edra. The Edra make up... Well, let me go ahead and make it big. 
That's my specialty, making it big. Okay, so remember, Hempta the Seductress is in charge of the lands of Judah, the clans right. of Judah. Uh, Edra are over here on the southern border. Uh, they uh, have a lot of interaction with Outlanders because they are right on the border. Uh, so they actually are involved in trading with you humans or ma or uh, uh, what? What's the name for humans? Ofa. Ofa. Yeah. Ofa is humans, uh, or the Kotai, as they call it. Most of the time, the Kotai are the outcasts, uh, but that's also what they call humanity. So Edra sits south of Emu, a.k.a. the Kurdish lands. Uh, they border both Judah and Zimna, so they are right in the middle. Uh, as Talana goes ahead and goes into in-depth discussion with these guys, she completely ignores you. Uh, and since none of you have comprehend languages, you do not understand what is going on. Give me a perception check, or give me an insight check. Okay. Four. Uh, ten. Not very insightful in this conversation. <laughs> Daphne, it seems to you and your experiences with different races the Talana is making a very receptive argument, and the four Edra individuals seem to concur with what she's dishing out. Can I, I, I would like to ask a question of the Edra and have What's-Her-Face translate. Talana, sure. Um, I would like to ask them if they remember the time before the castle was blighted or whatever give me a perception check fifteen uh, these are younger warriors uh, maybe adolescent uh, Talana points out they are younger but ooga booga ooga booga ooga booga <laughs> uh, that's that's from the Sunday campaign folks uh, they discuss and they point out to Talana, Talana points out to you, uh, they are too young by far uh, to remember that time, uh, although some of their, their elders tell stories. Well, I would like to know what kind of stories they've told. Ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga, ooga booga. Uh, the Edra individuals <laughs> all chime in very actively Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Talana is ping-ponging them with her eyes, trying to keep up. <laughs> Finally puts up her hand. The Edra refer to the area of Emu as no, no gracias, no love. Uh, they do not go there because it is um ooga booga ooga booga ooga booga uh the edra in unison say the word boogeyman talana doesn't know and she says apparently the boogeyman lives there and that's what their parents say that is the story told to them by their elders okay one of the individuals interrupts Booga ooga, booga ooga, booga ooga. And Talana gets into a rather harsh rebuke of the individual, and you can tell that the other three bristle at the abuse. Uh, but the individual stands to his word, booga ooga, booga ooga, booga ooga. Talana shakes her head and says, That doesn't make any sense. Well, I want to know what doesn't make sense. These, this Edra says that the borderlands of the Emu are guarded by Booga Ooga. Half, half 
pony half lion? Pony specifically? What Not just that, the horse. A pony and a... That, that is the word that she uses. Mm. Lonies. There we go. <laughs> um, or sure. pawnee. <laughs> <laughs> they are the pawnee. Or it could be pion, pony, pony, pony S. With the lioness. Uh, the other three, Edra, do not say yay or nay to this, but the one Edra seems to be rather adamant that these are the stories that he has heard from relatives. No. His brothers, cousins, aunts, girlfriends, uncle, for sure saw that. Hairdresser. With, with a letter from Epstein's mother. So <laughs> So how but, far away is are are there people? Like if we asked them if we could go talk to their elders. Uh uh Ooga Booga Ooga Booga. Oh, 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 oh. Uh seven moon rises. Oh fuck. So seven days. Uh, not moon rises. Seven nightfalls. Right. So a week. It's been one week. Sorry. <laughs> And it is the city of Graf. That song needs to be remade. Graf? Graf. As in Graf Spey. Right. Is it on here? Uh, right here. Oh, okay. And where are we? Here. Hmm. I don't know. I think we should go talk to them. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, we're if, a group, so. Yeah, if yeah i mean we we've gotta be you know mindful of talona and the, the rest of the talosians talana will point out that uh pursuant to your word you promised to go ahead and rid the tower of the curd for hempta so there's a perceived rush for you to do your duty unless you wish to go back on your word uh, no, no. I'm not going back on my word I just want to understand what we're walking into yeah <sighs> who wants to persuade Talana mm. um, I've got a negative one to persuasion so somebody uh, else probably Zadar, Z Zadar will try to appeal to, to her Sure. Uh, if he can't, kind of like where they offer persuasion support. Uh, sure. I'll give you a plus one. What's your modifier, Daphne? Plus two. I'll give you a plus two on your rolls, Zadar. I'll take 20, you. 22 with Daphne, that's 24. <laughs> I should have persuasive. Yeah. That was one of my things. <laughs> <laughs> Talana is not happy uh, no. and she protests not vehemently but protests uh, and feels that this is a waste of time looks at the Edra who are paying attention to her and looks at you guys and says Edra uh, not as smart as us well that's just Wait, Talana says Edra is not as smart as the T Talosians? Okay. Well, as the Judah. As the Judah. They're all, they're all Talosians. Right, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I don't see through that lens. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean... I and mean, she will remind you that you were hired by the Judah clan. Right, right. I was just seeing if our interests kind of merged towards our destination, but I guess it doesn't. It will delay you by at least uh, two days. Oh. I will have to confer with Camille and Daphne to see if this is viable. I do not want to upset Talona. <laughs> Daphne, what say you? <clears throat> do we want to go out of our way to help the Edra? Yeah. Yes. You are, help, you are not helping the Edra. 
oh. you are talking to the Edra to see if they can help you. Oh, okay. The Edra want nothing of you. Oh, okay. Well, if they want nothing of us, then... Yes, the, the point Camille made was talking to the Edra elders may or may not grant you some kind of information right. as to what lies ahead. Yeah, I, I'm with Talona on this. I'm thinking it might be a waste of time. I mean, not for two days. If they were like right there, probably, you know, with, within a day, but no. Yep. No, nope, that is not the case. Okay, yeah, they're too far away. I mean, two days, that, that's too much time to take off our timeline. Is so. there anyone on our behalf to talk to them? What's that? Well, like, like one of you or Juju no, or... Yeah, like someone in the village or hanging out with us or clan or magical bird. I mean... I Either way, it's gonna it's gonna take just as long, you know, for that news to get back to us, unless they have, you know, some kind of messaging. But magical scrolls. I've got nothing. I mean, I uh, I can only send Omen out so far. Yeah. You know. I would just like. I mean, if someone in the clan goes and checks and can just get back to us, right? Uh, Talata will not leave you. Uh, Juju and Muka may, if you persuade them, note mm -hmm. neither of those three will cross into the Emu land as it is cursed and haunted. Right. Right. I'm three. Oh, it sounds like my type of place. So, like, Talana, Juju, blah, blah, blah won't go in? None of the three will go into the Emu area. So, that area is cursed and off limits. What about the but I feel like we should definitely go there. Idris that we're talking to? <laughs> no. 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 They're they're escorting us to the border of Emu and we're going in, pretty much, right? So none we... of the five clans will enter Emu territory. That you know of. Right. Okay. Okay. So we just want to go ahead towards Emu then? The yeah. general conception is... Uh, or we could ask around if anyone would be willing. Who are we going to ask? <laughs> I feel like we have... There's asked. only the I mean, Adra if we that come across anybody. <laughs> that we you know. just did. Well, yeah, and we've already determined that they won't. Yeah. So, uh... uh I, I'm with pushing on, so. Okay. General consensus, pushing on. Yeah, unless we have a mouse we can attach a note to. I have a mouse, a but I don't know that it would do any good. You have an extra mount, but again, still two days out of your way. Yeah. Yeah. No, not for two days. Uh, the Edra wish you well. Well, you don't know that, but uh, Ooga Booga Booga Ooga 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 Booga Booga. Uh, you part as friends. Uh, they take the unused meat that you offered them and they head back west towards the Edra lands and specifically the city of Graf. You guys head northwest. Uh, the rest of your day. Please pass uneventfully. Passes uneventfully. Oh, okay. uh, it is a dying quarter of the moon. So you will sleep underneath the stars. Uh, Muka is feeling much better, courtesy of Daphne. Uh, the other two feel better as well. <clears throat> Do you guys assist them with the tents? Uh, yes. Everybody so assisting with the tents, give yep. me performance. Oh, Lord. Ooh, oh. I got 20. I got uh, a net 20. 17 for Sadar. All three of you have been paying attention and quickly escalate the tents up, uh, noting that your associates are injured and you, oh, we've got this. Uh, you successfully yeah. put up the two tents uh, and make a little bit of uh, 
displacer jerky. Uh, and as the stars shine in the sky, you notice a few clouds are moving in. Ah. Morning awakes with the pitter patter of rain on your fabric tent. Uh, and it has been raining for several hours. Uh, those of you who were on watch, which I didn't roll for, uh, noticed that the rain started right around midnight and has continued to drizzle on. The rain is cold, uh, and everybody who has arthritis begins to ache. Uh, day two, you strip down the tents, head off with your cold displacer jerky, and move along. Everybody roll a d20. 15. 17. <laughs> you guys are safe. Alana, 13. Luca, five. Juju, 13. Uh, a lightning bolt. Oh, crap. <laughs> hits the planes right next to Muka, startling his pony. And flipping him off the pony, Muka uh. takes one hit point of uh, damage. Well, he's lucky. Well, everybody got a long rest in, so you should yeah. be fairly healed. Uh, the rest of the day passes uneventfully. Uh, that evening, you set up tents. Uh, let's see how you guys. We're taking are... a long rest. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we already have. Yeah, this is your second long rest. Uh... Day one with the Edra. Day two with the lightning bolt. Day three, uh, Daphne, D6 for me, please. Three. That is an odd. Uh, Camille, give me a D4. Okay. A what? What you got, Camille? Hmm? D4. Oh, sorry. I was dealing with the dog. Uh, one. Uh, early in the morning before lunch, uh, your ponies begin to bristle. Ah, uh, crap. Are they hungry? No, they are concerned. Everybody roll initiative. Yeah. Ooh, 22. This for shit. Uh, 15. 15? Twins. Uh, Camille, you notice uh, a herd of deer just ahead. Ooh. Ooh. Help. Okay. Loads. They stick their head above the high grasses and look at you. There appear to be four of them. Each has heavy antlers, indicating that they must be male. Or Are make them reindeer. Part of party. Could be reindeer. Could be party. Make uh, them part of our group. And... Could be the deer take flight. Oh. They have the head of a deer and the body of a giant eagle. Oh, there we go. Uh, the scream of. Pika goes out by the Telosians. Pika is uh, Telosian for Petrodon or per Peritons. Uh, okay. Half, half deer, half eagle. Uh, Camille, you got a 22. You're up first. I take some of my jerky and throw it at them. Cool. Awesome. Uh, 15s. The Telosians, Daphne and Zadar, all had 15. Uh, we'll start uh, Zadar. What do you want to do? Uh, well, I mean, if Camille's trying to appeal to them, I always feel bad about snafuing her. I mean, uh, they haven't done anything. They're just sitting there, and we've started them. You. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. I uh, I hold my action, but I got my crossbow ready. So I'll take my action if they attack. <laughs> Daphne? on all of us again sure uh camille give me your persuasion check okay oh boy. and i i'm looking at the Tolosians for visual cues to oh they're, they're, they're gonna, gonna light them up <laughs> oh persuasion i'm like we're gonna do this right <laughs> 16 roll d4 All four descend on the jerky. Disadvantage. <laughs> uh, the Telosians. Who wants to roll against me with a d12? Uh, I guess I Daphne, can. Camille? Yeah. <laughs> Camille, if you beat me, the Telosians will hold their action. Let me find if the you do not, fuck this band. It's on. Eleven. Six. Uh oh. Uh, the Telosians hold their action. Yeah, we're holding. We're in a holding pattern. <laughs> Top of the order, Camille. What do you want to do? They are quickly snatching up the jerky. Um. So we're still on the edge of the the emu plane or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I say we just try to go around them and keep going. So circumvent the fight? Yes. Give me a 20. <laughs> you can do it. 12. 11. You've thrown enough jerky that the uh, pika do not intercede with you. Day three continues on as you pass by the pika. Good call. <laughs> uh, the rest of the day continues to rain. You are all soaked. You are all wet. You are all cold. It's almost like a change of seasons. <laughs> Kalana, Muka, Mike, and Juju soldier on uh, without issue. Uh, night falls. Um, I don't care. Uh, day, <laughs> day four. Okay. Ends. Uh, Daphne, D12 against me. And... <laughs> 12. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, day four. The clouds remain, but there is no rain. Uh, there's a lot of mud here. Juju and Muka Mike begin to grumble. Uh, Talana seems to be sternly rebuking them. Uh oh. I ask her what the problem is. Uh, she points out uh, we close uh, to Emu land. They. Uh, uh, Our pussies? I do not know what that is. Uh, <laughs> they are fearful. Ah, pussies. Uh, off in the distance, everybody give me a perception check. 12. Uh, uh, 17. Did you say 26, Daphne, or 6? 6. Mm, no, I did not. Zadar, you notice that the grasslands are dying in this region. But the land is like Nebraska. It is Just flat. flat. Yep. All righty. Uh, I point that out to my compatriots. Talana points out that she is aware. Um, and she calls at mid-afternoon. This is as far as we go. So okay. I say we rest here and start in the morning and ask them to wait for us. They'll wait for you. 
they will wait one week. Okay. Great. So we'll. So let's just call it a day and set up camp with them, a base camp for them, and yeah. Sure. Uh, after Zadar pointed it out, you guys noticed that the grasslands are definitely shrinking. Uh, there's a lot of dead trees, you know, small copses of trees, but dead trees, uh, mismatched patches of ivy growing up these trees. Is there a that, pattern? No. It looks like this area has suffered from blight of some form. Is it coming uh, from the tower or going to? You don't see any tower. Well, okay. Not that we see the tower, but is it going toward the emu or away from? Toward. Okay. Which would cor correlate with the, the emu slash curd lands are dead uh they're troubled well yeah sick. but i mean it should be coming from the tower if that was the case it is i thought you just said it was going to i must i must have misunderstood so you're here you've traversed from this direction towards the tower everything is dead that's where it starts dying and dead okay so you guys rest for the night yeah well Who's D12ing against me? Uh, I did it last time. Yeah, I'll take a shot. <laughs> Six. Eight. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four. Zadar, on your watch, and Talana will help oh. you. Okay. Uh, you hear a rustling, and your ponies are disturbed. Okay. I, uh... Um, uh, kind of investigate, sure. but within in, in our perimeter, though. Sure, give me an investigation check. Uh, seventeen. There's a whistling wind coming out of the north, which is bringing the chill to your bones. Uh, the whistle is high pitched enough to make it sound like enemies are approaching. But you notice that it corresponds with the breeze as it blows your long locks of gorgeous hair. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so I confer to Talana to see if anything's amiss. Okay. She seems concerned. Okay. I'm concerned too. If she's concerned, I'm concerned. Uh, you're both concerned. Roll initiative. Jeez. Continues to suck. 20. Talana rolls. 15. Uh, something is crashing through the grasslands, and the screech is heard above the wind. So, whatever it is, it's coming through. Do you have dark vision? No, I do not. You but are, are about to get butt fucked. Oh no! <laughs> Can I set off like a flare with press the digitation, just like a brief thing of magical sparks to see if it lights up like a radius? Like, sure, if we can we can play Denang. Good. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, what do I have to roll for that? So yeah, give me a twenty. Let's see if you get the trajectory right. Okay, it's not going to set anything on fire. It's just magical. Uh, net twenty. Nice. Uh, it's an owlbear, and it's steamrolling right towards you. Uh, that was your action. Talana freaks out. Let's see if she yells. Not with a one. She ain't yelling, so she'll attack. Uh... Yeah, she gets it. Ooh, she gets it nicely. Uh... It attacks. It gets two attacks. It does. Ah. Uh, since there are two of you, I am going to split the attacks. The first attack goes for even Talana. So you're going to get the claw. You got the short end of the stick. Uh, on Talana, 17 plus 7. Uh, on you, 16 plus 7. 
Okay. So Talata is going to take a beating. Yeah, not bad. Uh, and you get a bigger beating. Okay. Since I can see the Isle Bear, I'll uncanny dodge, which just halves it. Six, because it's okay. 13. Okay. Uh, round two, Zadar. Okay. Uh, since this is all up in our grill, I'm going to go ahead and, and attack. Uh, let's see. The first is a scimitar. Uh, 21 to hit, casting green flame blade. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 that is, uh, I'll get that. Um, uh, since it was busy with Talana, do I get a sneak attack on it? Uh, it was, it attacked both of you. Okay. So never mind. All right. So, uh, with the green flame blade for, for that, that is, uh, sorry. Eight being spread out. Okay. That is, uh, four points of flame damage. Uh, the scimitar itself is uh, six points slashing damage. Uh, bonus action, going to flame weave with the dagger. Uh, what? Wait, what's flame weave? That's the name of the dagger. I'm just going to... Oh, okay. That's the one I got off the gift that has the fire damage. Gotcha. Okay, 17 to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to hit it for... Uh, let's see. Nine plus uh, uh, fifteen <laughs> points of fire damage. Okay. Now you already used your bonus action to hex it. Do you? Get I didn't that hack. Attack? I didn't hex. I didn't hex okay. it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Ah, uh, Tolano will attack. <laughs> no. Four. Oh no. <laughs> first attack goes on you, Zadar. Second attack will go oh, first off. Uh, another one. Uh she does not yell. So on you twelve plus seven, nineteen. Nineteen would hit. I'll if I see it coming, I'll I'll dodge it too. On her 16, that hits. Uh, she gets 2d8 plus 5. Uh, She's getting her ass pushed. Ouch. Nice. Uh, 12, so 6 on the uncanny dodge. Mm -hmm. Round 3. Okay. All right, round three. Is it the owlbear first or us first? Nope, the owlbear goes last. Okay. I'm going to bonus action <laughs> alert the camp. There you go. Okay. And then I'm going to attack with uh, the scimitar. Okay. Uh, 16 to hit. Yep. Okay. Easy to hit, hard to kill. Uh. 11 points of scimitar damage and with the green flame blade uh, it's an extra d8 uh, for an additional one point of fire damage uh, Camille Daphne, Juju Muka give me a perception check 7 5 <laughs> All four of you sound asleep. <laughs> wow. Okay. Da, da, da. Uh, Talana. Let's see if she's screaming for help. Nope. That's a two. <laughs> Boy, she's really. Uh, she nailed it pretty good there that time, though. Okay. Oh, yeah, she nailed that one good. Uh, okay. Uh, bingo, bango, bongo. First attack goes against Zadar. Okay. Which is the lesser damage. 
16 plus 7. Talada. Nat 1. Uh, so Talada would get advantage next time. Uh, okay. On you, it's a D10 plus uh, 14. Okay, I'm going to do that sneaky rogue shit. <laughs> Seven. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, top of the order, Zadar, you don't hear anybody. Help again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna bonus action, or does the bonus uh, does calling for help count as a bonus action? That's your bonus action. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, attack with the scimitar. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, uh, fifteen to hit. Is that yep. hit? Okay. Thirteen to hit the owl there. All right. And that is nine, followed by the fire damage from Green Flame uh, for an additional, sorry, Frank. You're fine. <laughs> uh, six points of fire damage. That's not bad. Uh, Talana, does she yell? Another one. <laughs> oh, she's proud, huh? And a five on her roll. That misses. Uh, Camille, Daphne, Muka, and Juju. Or give me D20. Just straight up D20. What is it? You said straight up D20? 15. Yep. Whoa, two. At least not an at one. Daphne is sound asleep. The other three wake up. Go ahead and roll any die. Odd, it takes you one round. Even, it takes you two rounds to get going. Uh, even. All three of you even. I rolled two sixes. It's going to take you two rounds before you're in the fight. Yeah, uh, they're pulling up their britches while we're doing it. I gotta put my bra on. Come on. Brushing the teeth, flossing. Yeah, that's right. You gotta floss, man. Uh, first attack goes against uh, Odd 3 Zadar. Uh, Zadar is. I am not looking 15 good. 15 plus 7, and Alana 9 plus 7, 16. That's gonna get her as well. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, down goes Talana. Oh, shit. Uh, Zadar uh, only takes eight, so four. Okay. <laughs> but you are alone. All right. Uh, bonus action, Hex. <laughs> and I am going to cast... G give me perception check first. Perception, okay. Uh, 26 with my Yeah, you, you, you hear him moving around. Okay. Okay, it's going to have to do a con save. 16 plus 3, 19. Disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> 18. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> and there's my action! Uh, Talana. <laughs> Not looking good. <laughs> oh, okay. If the uh, others get in a fray, I'm going to try to pull Talana away. Uh, two rounds. <laughs> This is round one. I'm they on will, my own. <laughs> they will attack at the end of the next round. After uh, we brushed you, our teeth. You are on your own, and here comes the pain. How many hit points you got left? Uh, not much. 22. Uh, an 18 and a 6. So does a 13 hit you? No, it does not. <laughs> Sadly, the claws got you this time. Oh, shit. Four and 
three plus five is twelve. Sneaky rogue shit, so six. six. <laughs> uh, top of the order, uh, the tent flap opens up, and three of them appear to be running towards you. Uh, My God. Daphne. <laughs> um, me sleeping after. Yep. Uh, nobody bothered to wake you. Uh, so Zadar, top of the order, you. Crap. I don't is, know whether is right. <laughs> I don't know whether. I mean, are the, are the others going to be engaging in this round? You think? Save uh, yourself. Okay. Run towards the ponies so the <laughs> owlbear can eat. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to cast silent image of me and uh, Talona in our positions, and then I am going to drag us away from it. So it's going to look like two separate things. So so, so the ones that are in front of the owlbear are going to be stationary, but they're going to be the illusions. So, Do I get a save? Uh, uh, you probably would have to do an investigation check. To see, because it's an illusion. It's just a silent image. I'm just creating. I, I'm wondering if I get advantage on smell perception. I bet I do. You probably do. Uh, while I'm looking that up, Daphne, give me a uh, d20 roll. Nine. <laughs> wow. She's still sleeping. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm starting to think Mooka Mike roofied her. <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. The next uh, one will be good. I feel like it's always like shitty, shitty, then good. <laughs> you know what? It, it just adds to the joy of the DM when somebody's choking on their rolls that bad. Uh, hang on, folks. I'm almost there. I know what it is in first, second edition. Yeah. And I'm assuming they kept that. Read uh, the book, Frank. They have, they have to do an investigation check, intelligence. <laughs> so. Lay down. Yeah, but I'm wondering if they get advantage due to smell. No. I would say it would. Hmm. I'm siding with you, Frank. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate that. I, I just, I don't rook my players. To my own detriment. <laughs> and I'm almost there. I'm going through the fucking oozes. Yeah. Because apparently the monster manual doesn't have the right pages. That's yeah, clean the book. I'm I'm going through it. It said 239. I'm on 249 now. There it is. Albear. Dark vision, <laughs> passive perception, keen sight and smell. smell. It has advantage on wisdom, mm -hmm. perception checks. So this is that what is I'm rolling? A it says intelligence uh dc is going to be my spell casting uh mod uh 15. fair enough uh his role oops how about a 20. oh shit. uh okay he mauls the shit out of talana oh shit. and the illusion disperses oh he attacked the illusion thank god <laughs> Okay. Yep. Uh, top, or I'm sorry, not top of the order. Uh, Camille, D12 against me. I'm rolling two. First one is Muka, and the other one is Juju. Eight. Uh, you are going to fall in between them. Uh, Muka, Mike, springs into action and falls on his face. <laughs> guy's a tool uh you're up camille okay for some reason there are two zidars two zidars and two talanas okay although, although the one set of talana and zidar is fuzzing out yeah well i've been with zidar long enough to go whatever <laughs> okay so yeah, what is that? And uh, this is round two for Talana, her death save. Ugh. It's a nine. A nine misses. Uh, Juju springs forth and connects. 
Not bad. Top of the order, Zidar. Uh, I am going to... See if I know what's going on. I'm going to try to stabilize Talana. <laughs> this, round, this round, you get to do it again. Okay, see if you can stabilize her. Okay. Uh, what is that, medicine? Yep. Uh, Why are we thir- stabilizing her? She's not going to thir- come with us. 13. Fair enough. Uh, that's your action. The mm-hmm. owlbear has destroyed the illusion and is rampaging towards you guys. Mooka Mike. Oh, he connects. Nicely connects. Uh, from his prone position, he holds up his blade and the owlbear rakes across the chest. Blood is spurting everywhere. Camille... You're up. Daphne, D20. Thunder wave! <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people in between her. And- oh, okay. I thought she was ahead. <laughs> Five. Uh, Daphne? Sixteen. Where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> You slowly come She's to your senses. She's the person on meatballs at the end. Yeah, the yeah you're Morty. Yeah, <laughs> way to go, Morty. He's, he's, uh, he's sleeping on the raft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Juju connects. Max damage skewers it through the eyeball. Does it fall on him or next to him? To his right. Uh, the owlbear scorches through the ground. Daphne, you step out of your tent. <sighs> Christ, what's going on? Uh, with your dark vision, you see the members of your group and a very large figure uh, now prone out with Juju standing above it, jabbing it in its skull, and Luca Mike stabbing it in the rectum. Oh, nice. <laughs> here, killed him. Talana. Isn't she stabilized? No. <laughs> uh, she's not dead yet. You uh, notice that there, you got a couple bleeders on her. Okay. Sleepyhead, we can use some healing quick. Daphne, hey. apparently you. they're calling to you. Can I? Can I do cure wounds? Please. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Who needs it? Uh, me, me, and Talana. Talana I, needs it. She's Tal- unconscious and yeah, dying. Yeah, yeah. Talana, take care of Talana. Well, can I do like both of you? Right? How many? I don't know. I don't know how your spell works. You, you uh, can split your. I, this is two days later. You can lay on hands. But do you lay hands on Zadar first or Talana first? That's the nah, big key. I, I say take care of Talana first. I'll just do cure wounds on Talana. With the 1d8. Sure. She got six points of health. Sorry, six of me plus two. So eight points of health. It's salty chips right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Talana, <gasps> the raking claw wounds in her chest begin to close a little bit. She is D12 against me, uh, Daphne. Seven. Ooh, three. She's going to have scarring. Okay. Uh, she is okay. The two boys, Muka and Juju, have stopped stabbing it, uh, and they adorn themselves in the feathers of a kill most kind. Uh, apparently, the owlbear is a great kill for them. Hmm. Talana does not feel like talking. She was near death, and Zadar didn't stop enough bleeding for her to be healthy but i tried the the cure light wounds uh have succeeded uh the rest of the night so we're sleeping now yeah you can go back to bed because (laughs) it begins 
to brain yet again. Mm. Talana, a bit unsteady on her feet, staggers back to the tent and asks who is going to do next watch. Camille and Juju or Daphne and Muka? I guess me. Daphne and Muka Mike uh, take next watch. Daphne, roll d12 against me. Eight. Three. Uh, the rain intensifies, but no creatures lurk around. Uh, you have passed another day. The moon is almost pitch black. So as you sit on the edge of the emu lands, it's almost an empty moon. Dawn breaks anew. The sun shines. Uh, Everybody has had a long rest. Everybody can take their hit dice back if they want. Uh, Muka, Juju, and a scarred Talana uh, announce this this here we wait for mm. you. I tell her I'm, I understand. <laughs> and I'm offering her any other bandages for any slow wounds that are healing and stuff like that. The so. pus will be her bandage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't these people understand, you know, Basic hygiene. Hygiene. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. There ain't no river around Uh, here. That's true. Are these Republicans? No, they believe in something. Mm. Honor, but... Yeah. So, time to go into the land of the emu. Okay. Uh, Are you going to take a tent? Or... Just go in bare. No, we gotta take a tent. Can we take a mount? There is the extra mount. Okay. We gotta take that. Uh, You travel for... Three hours, putting you close to noon, and the landscape changes dramatically. Uh, You come to the edge of a bluff. Great. Beyond the bluff, the earth or ground has sunken in. It is filled with maces. It's almost like if you took a chicken wire and put it through mud, uh, some of the maces survived, others crumbled in upon themselves. This is essentially the Grand Canyon. Mm. Uh, As you look down into it, you see several waterfalls, a river of some kind, Running, snaking through the canyon, uh, you do not see any tower. Uh, remember, you were told that the tower of the Kurd would be on a mesa. Uh, give me an investigation check, everybody. Uh, 18. Ooh, 21. And. Daphne does not see shit. (laughs) That Uh, sound was her perception going down the drain. It's literally a plus five on investigation. So every time I fail at these, I'm like, hmm, okay. Wow. Uh, (laughs) Zanar and Camille, there is no sound coming out of this canyon. Not even water that you can see clearly moving about a mile below. You both find an area that you think will allow you passage. Uh, It winds down the side of the canyon wall. Uh, It looks precarious at best. Do you want to ride your mounts or walk your mounts? I would say walk our mounts. Walking your mounts will take an extensive amount of time just FYI. How much time? Yeah, probably add a third of the time down to the bottom. Because it's like going downhill? So, going zigzagging down the hill. Yeah, I would get a week before they abandon us. 
Right. It's like, it's the ups- horse girl in me says you just write it down. I don't care if you guys want to write it down. That's fine. All right, regulators, what do you want to do? <laughs> Lean back and ride. All right, I guess the regulators are writing. <laughs> Everybody roll D twenty. Oh no. Ooh, uh, nineteen. Let me see myself. Fifteen. Happy. What did you roll? <laughs> Oh, wow. no. Roll a D four. Roll a D four, horse girl. Oh my god. Hey, this is a fictional. Uh, also a one. One, 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 one. Boy, you're just yeah. rolling hot tonight. <laughs> I just like came across my horse stuff too. My spurs and helmet. See, you didn't need the bikini. You could just wear that. You so, suffer three bludgeoning damage and one piercing damage as you fall off your horse as it stutter steps and crash down 10 feet below. Oh! Give me a dexterity check to get either higher to where your mount is or lower to where your mount will be. 17. Do you want to go up to your mount or down and wait for your mount? I'll wait for them. Roll initiative. Oh, shit. 18. Why are these high rolls when I needed them before? Camille Zidar investigation. Oh, God. Now I roll low. 11. Right? Uh, <laughs> 10. Uh, both of you have seen Daphne fall off her horse and take extra care. You have no idea as you start the hairpin turn to go down to the next level where Daphne is at. Daphne, a shadow is cast over you and it appears to be a large lion figure. Uh Uh-oh. As you turn your head, a large lion attached to to a horse's body sneers at you and a low rumble begins as it starts to growl because of the give him jerky because, because of the nature of this encounter we will call it quits early i, I knew it we will nice. cliffhanger this bitch dun, dun, uh, dun. <laughs> Caitlin, what do you think so far How's your diplomacy? <laughs> See, I just feel like I should be rolling actual real life dice, not the digital dice on D and D Beyond, because clearly <laughs> they just mostly roll shitty with the occasional good ones. There's- their their algorithm is good, but still. <laughs> well, yeah. other than that, you're doing okay. Uh, you yeah. aren't Talana, for God's sake. David, what'd you think? Another Talosian gets mauled on my watch. I yeah, just didn't your- die, though. That's your shirt. Talosian hey, I, I saved her, though. <laughs> I tried. You know? I'm an important PC. All the NPCs <laughs> die around me. Yeah. Uh, Carrie, what'd you think? I had a good time. I think it's funny. Um, and it's hard for me because... I kind of know how you think, so I have to guess. Well, I know you know how I think, so I take the appropriate action. Yeah, exactly. he he does the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Cacophony Edition. These guys have made it to the Emu territory. Uh, next time, let's see how much they will be able to explore. Next time, let's see if Daphne is eaten by the Weemick. If she wakes uh, up in time. Yeah, maybe yeah, she goes to bed. Like a casual nap. You yeah, know. maybe you have a concussion. You're in okay. concussion protocol. Because Zadar lives his real life, David's life of, well, it's not me, so everyone else can just suffer. That, uh, uh, that is next, hard. Next week, maybe Daphne wears her... What is it? Skittle bikini. Skittle bikini. Or just her spurs. Tune in. 
watch us get thrown off Twitch for nudity, which I think is not allowed. Josh and Kyle. No, because there are some people that I've seen Kyle's ass. Come on. Swimming in pools with their bikinis on and all this stuff. So there there's body painting channels so there yeah we're, go. we're good, yeah, we're good. Yeah, that's fair enough uh folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D. join our discord channel if you want to buy cool shit uh hit our shop uh most importantly and we didn't cover this at the beginning if you want a seat on the talk show on tuesday or a one shot on saturday m hobo inc gmail or twitter this week We've got a new player. Uh, we'll see how they do, and uh, that will be interesting. Saturday, we play Garen Bluffs uh, with at least one new player. So, you know, you don't know. Uh, take a look at Pirate. Well, hit up Pirate Dog Dice if you want specific dice and uh, Adventure Sense. If your game stinks, get some Adventure Sense by oddfishgames.com. If you want to learn how to write a little bit better, check out their Shine system. Don't forget on Sunday, they have another episode of How to RPG with Your Cat. Uh, so tune in for that. That could be really, it, it, not could be, it will be very interesting. It'll be fun. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. We will see you on Saturday with the one shot at Darren Bluffs. Everybody wave goodbye. Let's get out of here. Good night, Bye. everybody. Can, Bye. Like, can someone send in doodles so we can have a <laughs> like okay. Boy, yeah. she's a bit. Yeah, we're not. I just, I'm muting you now, and you're done.